प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लीनियर मूवमेंट का अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ वी कैन राइट F is equal to dp by dt. You know that Newton's second law of motion is rate of change of momentum directly proportional to force. So by that we are written this equation. So if there is no resultant force, if there is no resultant force, the linear momentum will not change or remains constant and will be conserved. And this is called as principle of conservation of linear momentum. Let us substitute here F is equal to g. Then we get this term. Like this, dP by dt is equal to zero. So d by dt of constant is coming zero. So we can write p is constant. So derivative of the constant is zero. So p is constant. P is a linear momentum. So if no external force acting on body, then linear momentum is conserved. And this is the principle of conservation of linear momentum. You can write this. Like this well, so the total momentum of isolated system is conserved during any interaction. Now here we consider during collision, a number of objects come together, interact, and scatter in different direction. We consider one example. So you can see here is the object of mass m one and m two moving with initial velocity u one and u two along same line. So I can consider here u1 is greater than u. Then the collision is occur. So you can see they collide on each other. When they collide, they exert force on each other by Newton's third law. So they exert equal and opposite force on each other. So force acting on this one due to two and force acting on two due to one. You can see in a diagram. Then after that they scattered in different direction. With the different velocity or the final velocity, you can see in a third line. Now, in this case also, momentum is constant. Linear momentum is constant here. Linear momentum is constant. Momentum is constant means momentum is conserved. Or I can write it here. So, momentum in the momentum before collision and momentum after collision is same. So, I can write. momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision theek okay. momentum after collision theek okay. now here so this momentum is constant the momentum before collision so before collision we can write so the momentum of total momentum we are talking here so you can see here so this momentum of this body is mass into velocity and this mass into velocity so momentum before collision is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 this is total momentum before collision and after collision this mass into velocity and plus this mass into velocity so m1 v1 plus M two, so this is the momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision. And here we can write a linear momentum is conserved. 